Hello CatStar.org. I am pleased to announce our latest continuum on CEREC comprehensive applications. Now what does that mean? I've had a lot of requests over the last few years on how do I apply CEREC to comprehensive care? In other words, how do we apply it to a full arch or a double arch and how do we use it if we're changing the occlusion or if we're opening up the bite? Well, it can be done and it still comes back to how we apply it to the basic fundamentals of restorative dentistry. By the way, I've spent the last six months writing a manual for this on my protocol and it's there's seven basic fundamental steps I go through. In the class, we'll go through a very systematic way to develop the process. And so that starts from your interview, starts with the diagnostic records and which ones to take. How do we work the case up before we ever start? How do we manage occlusal shifts in a predictable way before we prepare the mouth? Those are ways that we verify the outcome, particularly in an occlusion standpoint, before we ever start. It's a nice system that I've used for the last few years to, to simplify the approach and make sure that we're on target at each step of the way. So we're gonna go through the biomechanical diagnostic component and how we apply it to our wax up and prototypes. We'll go through soft tissue management on, on a comprehensive care basis. How about the aesthetic preparation and particularly the virtual design and the strategy and sequencing of how we design. All these things when they're done in a systematic way it simplifies the process and allows you to get a very predictable and reliable outcome. And then we talk about the ceramic finishing and how we fingerprint that to make the case come alive. The beauty of the CEREC is the way we apply it in our systematic sequence, our seven steps. And with the refinement of our ability to take more comprehensive uh, digital impressions with the blue cam, we can break it down in a very systematic sequence to get the best outcome in a simplified way. And that's, that's what, exactly what I want to share with you guys. This is not a class on TMD diagnosis because that would take a lot more time than three days. And so I would suggest that you need to have some type of background in comprehensive occlusion. Now there's more than one camp. I've been trained in about four of them. And I'm a hybrid. In other words, I use an approach that I feel is going to work best for the patient. And then when we set it up from our diagnosis, I like using a fixed orthotic, or you can start with a removable splint first if they have TMD symptoms. But I use a fixed orthotic for the amount of time to verify that our new occlusion is going to work. We have our anecdotal template because the patient's been wearing it in the mouth. And so when we apply it to the CEREC, we do it in a phased process. So when you're done, you're saying, wow, it really went smooth. And the patients like it, particularly when we apply our occlusal concepts and understanding our parameters and how that works for comprehensive care. So I'm excited about this class. And I, I know it's not for everyone, but if you have an interest, you come to the class. And even if you don't have a significant background in comprehensive care, this will be beneficial on just sequencing and thinking about comprehensive care and your CEREC. So take a look at the website and look at the dates and the locations to see if that works for you. And we'd love to have you take the class. So thanks for tuning in and hope to see you there.